Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Block Tech Tips. And of course guys, today I'll show you to deal with this error that says an SD card was removed unsafely. Restart your phone. And this is for Samsung devices. And of course this is a screen capture of the error from earlier when I was having this issue. I'm going to show you what the error means, what you can do to solve it and how to prevent it in the future. Alright, and also there are cases where the SD card might become... Um, undetected and of course the phone automatically stops picking up the SD card after you restart. I'm going to show you how to deal with all of this coming up next. Alright guys, so of course if you're having the error as seen here, the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and restart your device. Alright, so in case the SD card is not being detected, you're going to go ahead and of course get your SIM tool. Once you get your SIM tool, locate your SIM tray and of course go ahead and um, go ahead you guys and simply eject the tray. Once you remove the tray, you may have to remove the SD card. Do not worry, the device can be kept on at this stage as long as you did the reboot. Um, remove the SD card. You can remove... Um, Basically, the metal contacts at the back, you can wipe these off with a piece of dry cloth or tissue paper. Just the metal contacts, place the card back into its tray and place it back in. Um, once you do, it should be um, detected. Um, it might take a few tries, but keep trying. Um, usually after the first or second attempt, it should be detected once again. And once it's detected, you should be good to go. Now, in the future, bear this in mind to prevent this error that you should actually unmount your SD card while the device is off before trying to remove it. If you don't, you'll get that error. And that is because um, at any time, there are files that might be writing to the SD card. Or, of course, there might be apps that are stored on the SD card. And the system itself for Android doesn't allow you to just um, remove the SD card while it's on without first ejecting it. Alright, so in the future, if you want to, make sure you eject or unmount the SD card before um, disconnecting it live or go ahead and turn off the phone, then remove the SD card. Alright, so once you follow those protocols, you should be good. Now, in terms of um, unmounting the SD card, the process is simple. To unmount the SD card, like for, um, as of now, if I wanted to remove the SD card while the device was off, all I had to do or all I should do is just go ahead and go to settings. Once I'm in settings, you're going to go down, go to battery and device care. And of course, you should see the top of the screen here, scroll down. And once you scroll down, um, go for storage. Once you click on storage, once the storage is uh, detected, you should see the internal. Swipe over, you should see it says SD card up here. And you should see three lines up here. Go ahead and tap where it says um, three lines. And of course, from here, you just go ahead and unmount. Notice it says unmounting. And of course, it says again that the SD card is um, disconnected. All right. I could remount if I change my mind. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and unmount. And right now, it will be okay to remove the SD card. Um, otherwise, as I told you, it's best maybe in some cases to just power off the phone before trying to um, remove the SD card. All right, guys, I think I've covered everything um, about this error. In the future, as I advise, guys, just make sure that um, you either um, unmount first, as um, indicated earlier, before trying to um, hot swap the SD card while the device is off, or simply just power down. It makes the job much easier and then remove. Um, remember also that uh, just a final tip, that if files are being transferred, if you simply remove the SD card while a file is being transferred or while the card is being written to, it can um, mess up the SD card or damage it. Um, or it can actually mess around with the Android system since files from Android system is stored on your um, device. So always unmount or power off and remove. All right, I think I've covered every possible um, answer. So once you keep these things in mind, for the future, you should not get the error again unless you simply remove the um, the SD card prematurely. All right, guys, I'm going to end the tutorial here. If you have any questions, as always, please remember to ask them below. And 
So, Cardio Tech guys, saying bye until next time we meet in another tutorial. Bye, guys.